The purpose of using a light bulb is so that you can see in the dark. It transfers electrical energy from our wall sockets into light energy. This is the useful energy. But some of the electrical energy is transferred into thermal energy or heat. This is the wasted energy. For every energy system, there always needs to be the input energy, useful output energy, and the wasted output energy. We can represent this whole idea using what's called a Sankey diagram. The beginning of the Sankey diagram is the input energy. Using our light bulb example again, the input energy is the electrical energy. We usually use the top arrow to represent the useful output energy. That's light for a light bulb. Then we have the wasted output energy, which is thermal energy. Let's say the input energy is 50 joules. If we have a pretty efficient light bulb here, then maybe we can get 20 joules of energy as light. The rest is the wasted energy, which is going to be 30 joules. The output energies always add up to the input energy. Sankey diagrams are sometimes drawn to scale. For this particular Sankey diagram, 5 cm represents 50 joules, 2 cm represents 20 joules, and 3 cm represents 30 joules. So what does 1 cm represent? 1 cm represents 10 joules. Given all this information, now how do we calculate the efficiency of this light bulb? We have to use the equation efficiency is equal to the useful output energy divided by the total input energy. And then turning all this into a percentage, we have to multiply by 100. So the efficiency of the light bulb is 20 divided by 50 times by 100. The bulb is 40% efficient.